there's another part of our drawing program that we can improve by using a map instead of the code that we have right now. If you watch the videos that I made in on GUIs and graphics where I created this drawing program, you might remember that the code for adding new drawables, even as I wrote it, I said that I was very unhappy with it. And the real reason is it's this right here, the rectangle, rectangle, transform text, and then rectangle, transform text. I have all these strings and they have to be typed properly and they have to match. And if I have a typo in them here or you know, here, this is not a syntax error. The code runs and I just start wondering why the heck I can't actually create rectangles. Actually, when I select rectangle here, my code crashes. Uh, I really don't want that. Okay, I'd like to have something that's more robust. Also, as I start adding more and more stuff to this, this gets more and more fragile. So we're going to create another map in here. And it's interesting, this map is, like the one before it, going to be a map that takes a uh, string type to a function type. Now it turns out that's not normal. It's actually fairly common to have maps where the key type is a string. That is not at all odd. But it is a bit unusual to have the second element be a function type. It just happens to be good for what we are doing right now. Okay. So I created this new variable called creators. These are going to be functions that create drawables. And so the string will be the name, like text, rectangle, transform. And this function will pass in a drawing, and it's supposed to deliver us a new drawable of that matching type. So for example, if the text is rectangle, and I'm going to use a rectangle, I want back a function that takes a drawing. I'm just going to use D for our drawing here and gives me back a new draw rectangle. The first argument is D. We just come up with some nice defaults for this and we have some down below. I don't know if this is an exact match for what we have below. Okay, so that's a function that builds a rectangle. We need to have the ability to build transforms. So I want a function that takes a drawing and makes a new draw transform with that drawing. And lastly, if we want to create text, D rocket new draw text on that drawing D uh, position here. I'm mm, the problem with zero zero. I'm actually going to go with zero in X and twenty in Y. It turns out that zero zero it just won't show up because it's up above. Remember that the the bottom line of the text is at zero and our text and color dot black. Okay, so we have this map and then we need to rework this code down here. So the first thing is our choice dialog. Well, we need to have this so that it uses the types of things that we could create. Well, it turns out that you can ask a map so I'm going to make a variable called D types, which is the types of things that I can draw. You can ask a map for the keys. Now, there's a keys and there's a key set. I actually don't want just an iterable. I'd actually like to have a sequence here that I can work with so that I can easily index into it. And then this will just be D types sub zero and this will be D types. So, you know, one of the first things I was unhappy with is that my rectangle here had to match my rectangle in this list. 
they can't be different now because I'm pulling this value out of there. Similarly, this needs to change. Well, this code right over on the right side of, of each of these matches is basically what I put up here in these functions. So once I get inside of here, I should be able to make a new drawing. So instead of what I have right now, I'm going to say val d equals, and I'm going to use my creators, and I'm going to index it by this string s. And remember this creators here, when I index it, I get back a function that takes a drawing and gives back a draw a bull. So now I have to pass this a drawing, which is just in this part of the code called drawing. And if this has worked properly, I should be able to get rid of that match and everything should be happy. Okay. Here we go. Can we add a rectangle? So we have rectangle, we have transform, we have text. Do that, and I get a rectangle. If I expand this out, I can go to my rectangle, move it down 100 pixels, change the color. That seems to be working. And the nice thing about this approach here is, once again, I don't have a bunch of strings in this code that have to match each other it's impossible to mismatch them. I typed the strings once. Rectangle was typed once, transform was typed once, text was typed once. If I have a typo in them, I'll probably notice that, but it won't actually break functionality. Something I'll want to fix, but it's not like it's going to cause my code to crash. And it makes it very easy for me to add new things in. I want to add a new type. I'm literally going to add one line of codes. And over time, we will be adding new drawable types. Every drawable that we put in, we're going to add one line of code here in this map, and that's it. That's the only overhead for it. So this is another use of map in our drawing program. Here again, we're going for simplicity. We're also going for robustness and making it easy to modify this code without having it so that we are likely to screw things up.